Welcome yes. back to BYU Sports Nation, where we English at a high level. Live from Studio B. I speak good. Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline is three-time All-American soccer star for BYU, Michaela Coulihan. Welcome back to the show, Michaela. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. How are you guys doing? Just trying to figure out what third to last means. Do you know what that <laughs> yeah. is? Do you know what the anti penalty is? I don't know. Your attempt was better than anything I could come up with. So I, I looked it up. I guess I'm right. Anyways, let's talk about you. <laughs> Amazing season. First team All-American back to the NCAA tournament. I know it wasn't kind of the finish you guys wanted, but obviously everything was weird and uh, you play your, your season in the spring. How did you feel about how the season went? I think there was a lot of positives to take away from it. Um, as you said, just kind of happy to have been able to play. And there was so much up in the air there for a while and almost get sick of saying that, but it was a positive thing and just really happy that we got as many games in as we did and played the tough competition that we had. And um, I think we gained a lot of experience. Like it was a good spring season for us. And as you said, it was, it ended an unfortunately or in an unfortunate way. And that was too bad, but, but we really have a lot of positives to take away from it. You drew Virginia who eventually went to the final four in another college cup in your opening round. Do you feel like you, you got a rough draw there or how does, how does that shake out in your mind right now? Maybe a little bit. Yeah. It, I think when we were watching the selection show, it was kind of, I, I didn't ever feel like, dang, we're playing Virginia, but it was like, Oh, Virginia. And then you hear a lot of talk after that. Like everyone was shocked. They weren't ranked and, didn't get a first round bye and things like that. So there was a lot of talk about how they kind of got unfortunate to have us as well. And so it was a tough matchup that early in the tournament, but um, I think that that's just kind of the way the tournament is and that happens and you got to be able to rise to play anybody. So you guys end up being the 12 overall seed, which was awesome. I thought typically in the tournament, it's like, we just have this, I don't know if it's a real thing or not, but it's like, ah, if you want to get chipped or whatever, that's how we feel about the NCAA tournaments. Generally speaking, 12 was great. <laughs> 11 was Santa Clara. They go and win the national championship. What was that like emotionally? Because you know them, you split with them. It was tied in aggregate. So that, that had to be something. What was it? Geez, it was a lot, a lot of different emotions. I think, I think back to the other national championships I've watched in previous years and it always hurts. It's hard to watch another team celebrate and you're jealous. Of course, like everybody wants to feel that feeling and celebrate that way. But it was like a whole nother level watching Santa Clara do it. We're like, we beat them once. We got unfortunate losing to them another time. I even feel like we should have won the first game as well. And they're in our conference. So it's so close to home and we know we're so familiar with them and know how good we are. And I mean, if you see a team like that, you know, you're capable of beating and you're better than you feel like and watching, watching them win the national championship just kind of fueled me. And, um, like I said, very jealous, but makes me want to be able to feel that same thing and, and make it there. Any any kind of positive feelings there at all, given that, hey, the league won one, that's, that's good for us as a group. It makes us look good. Or is it like, oh, we're on that level? I'd say a little bit of both, but yeah, yeah, there's for sure some positive to take. Like the WCC, I think that's that's great to see a, a conference opponent, you know, win the national championship. And just for West – the West in general, the soccer over here sometimes gets a little bit of, you know, we're not as good as the, the East coast or whatever people say. And so I think it's great that a team close by one and showed, you know, how strong we are over here and how strong our conference can be. And so, yeah, for sure. And it's, it's just really motivating and kind of wants me to be able to rise to that and push us to that level as well. Three-time All-American soccer star Michaela Coulihan with us on BYU Sports Nation, two times a first-teamer. That's incredible. It really is. You know, so I'm, we're here to profile you. You're awesome, okay? How do you feel about How do you feel about being awesome, Michaela? <laughs> you guys are too nice. You make me sound even better than I am, so I don't know. <laughs> no, but it, it really is legit, right? Jennifer Rockwood, I think it was 2019, I said, tell me what makes Michaela Coulin great. And she said, well, you know, said all these amazing things. She said, she to me, she's the best player we've ever had in the program. And I was like, Best player ever. That's, that's incredible given how many uh, players have come through here. What what is what is the program done to help elevate you to where, yes, you're a two-time first-team All-American. You could make it three this fall uh, in your fifth year. That would be something pretty special. Yeah, for sure. Um, I remember back in the recruiting process, 
I heard, I talked to several people who had played at BYU um, and they told me like, I can guarantee you, if you go to BYU, you'll get better. And they, they didn't say that would be the case at every other school and other schools that I was kind of considering. So that was something that stuck with me and I can fully attest to it and say that that's completely true. And I feel like the coaching staff, the level of play you get here, the training every day is just, it, it causes us and gives us the opportunity to be elite. And uh, I think that I've just taken, been able to take that opportunity and try to push myself and, and get better in every way. And um, that's a reflection of our coaches, I would say. She used the E word, Spencer. I know. She is elite. I know. Yeah. We don't use it's that in not, vain in not Studio B. used in vain here. I learned my lesson, right? <laughs> <laughs> Michaela Kulan with us on BYU Sports Nation. Maybe coming back for one more shot at... I don't know, a college cup or a national championship was enough to push you to another season at BYU, but you're drafted 14th overall. You clearly are a future pro player. What was the main driving force behind your motivation to come back for one more season instead of just taking it to the professional level? Uh, I've had this conversation several times and I always come back to like, I'm in no rush to get out of BYU because I have everything I need to be successful here and it helps me get better as I just kind of talked about. Um, I feel like every day I have the chance to compete against the best and um, my coaches help me help push me and push me in different ways to kind of excel. And, and so I just want to return here. I feel like there's still a little bit left in me. I want to end on a normal fall season and um, I want to take us further than we've ever gone in the tournament. And that's my goal. So I kind of want to end on that before going to Orlando and continuing to play there. Well, let's go. Uh, and this conversation normally would be had what in December, the season just ended it's May. So you're actually playing in three months, which is super exciting. Oh, by the way, we wanted to ask you, who's your ma favorite major league baseball team? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the nationals. <laughs> why, why, why is that? <laughs> You know, I got to support my boyfriend. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jackson Clough, he's one of our favorites. How's he doing, by the way? He's doing great. He he actually just got injured. He hurt his hand, um, but his season had just barely kind of started, and uh, he had been playing well so far. And so he's he's gonna have a little bit of a break, but he'll get right back to it. So. How what? much minor league baseball are you watching right now? <laughs> every day there for a minute until he he took a little break but yeah, yeah. It, it, every single day <laughs> he's, in, he's in double a with the harrisburg senators right now so that's good man that's that's good that's great so how physically tired do you feel after a very unique season in the spring knowing that you got to turn things around as jerem just mentioned essentially in a few months yeah um I, I think a lot of people have kind of been talking about that like wow that's a quick turnaround and Honestly, that's all I could ask for. Like the more games, the better, the quicker the season's coming, the happier I am. And that's what I want to do. So to see it um, just right around the corner and not having this long off season and just training every day, it just makes me super excited. And I can't wait to get back into it. And for what it's worth, Kayla, I believe that BYU is the last team to beat Santa Clara before they went on their national championship run. So you still have that on them. Hey, the only team that beat them. The Let's only go. Team. Let's go. How, how that's that? right. Let's hang a banner. Let's go. <laughs> that's, that's the fuel for this season. <laughs> Kayla, great to talk to you. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for your off-season training. Stay well. Tell Be Jackson well. hi. Yeah, say hi to Jackson for Love us, it. and we'll uh, we'll see you around soon. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. You got it. Michaela Coolahan on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how.